We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Musselman Appleman, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, your team getting a 43-6 victory last week over the Washington Patriots. What were your takeaways from that game? Uh, yeah, you know, it, it excited. Um, you know, it feels good. You know, I was really proud of the kids. Just, you know, that they, they can be they, – just continue getting better, man, and that that's a big part, especially as you get in here to November. You want to be playing your best football in November. So, you know, I, I continue to think uh, we're improving as a team uh, here late in the year, and, you know, it, it, it's good to kind of see those results. There's, you know, there's been some times this year where it's been frustrating for us because you don't see those results directly you know, with not winning as many games as we're accustomed to. So, uh, you know, it's kind of good to see the the results and get that victory a little bit. And, Coach, for your team, it's been a struggle to put up points. You know, some of that may have to do with your, your strength of schedule and everything, but it, uh, ultimately you haven't scored more than 14 since week two heading mm-hmm. into this game, and you put up 43. Uh, just what was that like to see your offense clicking and finding ways to finish off drives? Yeah, it's good. You know, we, we, we've been doing good stuff offensively. We just haven't always converted in the red zone. You know, speaking of which, you know, their, their one touchdown was a turnover we had in the red zone that they scoop and scored on. So, you know, not, not perfect. You know, you always look to to continue to get better. So, you know, that's, I guess that's a negative view if you can take a negative away. But, you know, we, we've done good things all season. Um, you know, we've had red zone trips. We've had good drives against really every team that we played. We just got to finish stuff. So, you know, Friday we were able to finish stuff. Friday we, we were able to execute a little bit better, uh, we, which is good, you know. So any anytime you can put points on the board, that's a good thing. Putting points on the board was something Isaiah Beer did in that game with four catches, three touchdowns, I believe 114 yards in receiving. Just talk about his game. Yeah, Isaiah had a big – Isaiah had a really big game for us. You know, Isaiah is an explosive player. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's really quick. Uh, he's on our – you know, last year as a sophomore, he was on our state qualifying 4 by one and 4 by 2 team. Uh, for our school and he's the lead off leg so you know that kind of tells you a little bit his you know the the, the track coaches um you know they they that's their job and they see those kids and they judge the speed and you know they they thought highly enough as them that they were going to put him on the first leg because his takeoff so good so you know we see the same thing in in our football season is just you know his his first step um you know his get off is just so fast and, you know, he, he brings that to the football field. So, yeah, he does a lot of good things. You know, he's been talking about putting points up on the board. You know, we haven't had him here. And, and you know, really the whole second half of the season, uh, he broke his ankle against Morgantown and, and was out for a good part of a month. So, you know, that's that's one of the reasons. He's one of the reasons we struggle a little bit to put points on the board because when you take your fastest kid off the field, um, you know, you lose that threat. So now that we have him back, it really opens up some things that we can do. Um, you know, and he presents a lot of mismatch problems just based on his speed. And, Coach, also you guys a few weeks ago uh, made that decision to make Michael Thompson your full-time quarterback. Mm-hmm. And uh, clearly, you know, when a wide receiver has a big game, your quarterback has a good game mm-hmm. as well. What, is, what has Michael done the last few weeks, and how have you seen his growth as a passer this year? Yeah, you know, Michael's came up in our program – um, you know, now for three years. So, you know, we, we, we know who Mike is. We know what Mike brings to the table. Um, you know, Mike has, Mike's, a, Mike's a really positive kid, a uh, really coachable kid. So, you know, we he's got a really good relationship with, you know, not just myself, but um, a lot of our – um, a lot of our coaches uh, here in the staff, you know, he's got a really good relationship with our quarterbacks coach, Caleb Denbeck. So, uh, you know, we, we, we have a lot of confidence in Mike and what Mike does and what Mike brings to the table. Uh, you know, he throws a good ball, but, you know, he, he's just really – he's really positive. Um, he's a really super good teammate, and he brings a lot of energy uh, to our team and to our offense. So, you know, it's good to see him go out. And he, he's had some good games. Uh, for us here over the past month but you know just uh to come out statistically and have a big game like that uh is really good for for him and for his confidence so uh you know you we're really confident mike let's now look at this week's game you guys take on parkersburg what have you seen from them yeah really good team uh really good team really well coached um got a lot of athletes all over the place and we played them last year and they were really junior heavy last year so 
uh, a lot of those kids that we, you know, we've seen on film are the same kids that we got to play against last year. So, um, you know, we, we played them in a seven on seven this summer and saw them up close to the, yeah, they're really athletic. They're really good. You know, they, 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 a lot like us play a tough schedule, uh, you know, play 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 a lot of teams that you know are are, are up there in the standings. So they're they're really good, uh, really excited. You know, you you want to play, you want to play meaningful games in November. Uh, you know, you don't want to play, you don't want to play two teams that you know somebody's fighting for their second win of the season and there's ten people in the stands. So those those games are those games aren't fun. So you know, we're 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 excited about just the opportunity. Uh, you know, the atmosphere that I know we're going to have here at our field uh, playing against them. But, you know, we, we, we got our work cut out for us because we're going to have to play really well because uh, they're a really good football team. And, Coach, you mentioned, of course, Parkersburg, you know, traditionally a pretty good program in the state, one of the better programs in the state. And, uh, you know, this game they're coming in 5-4. and four. You guys are 4-5. and five. Um, A lot – this could be a play-in game for the playoffs. So mm. – uh, and they're coming off of some losing seasons – uh, knowing that, you know, this has to be an exciting game for both teams and I guess just with a lot riding on this one. Yeah, I mean, like you said, it essentially is a playoff game. You know, we, we crunched the numbers a little bit in our staff meeting this week. Uh, you know, the winner of this game is in for sure. I, th- I think right now, I think in the latest rankings, I think one of us is 15 and the other one's 16, I believe. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not 100% sure of that, but I believe that's what I saw. Um, I don't know which one's which. I just know we're both kind of right on the cusp there. So, uh, you know, everything that we crunch number wise, the winner of this game is 100% for sure in, and the loser might be in, might be out. So, you know, we we'd like to be on the, you know, I mean, well, I, I, they they're the same. You know, you both these teams, both of us want to be on the winning end of the of, of the of the outcome just because then you don't have to look at scores and hope for somebody else to do your work for you so um yeah it's 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 exciting man you know like i said these are the reasons you you prep and you prepare so you can play uh meaningful games in november what's your team need to do to be on the winning side of things then um you know i I, i'm like i say every week i'm i don't mean to be a cliche guy but you know it's some of the basics of football 101 or the stuff that you have to do to win games uh you know the the turn turning the ball over and creating turnovers is big uh you know they they lost last week to spring valley and they threw two uh pick sixes so you know they're they're probably saying the same thing you got to protect football or else, you know, big big plays like that happen. So, you know, you got to protect the football. Uh, you got to make tackles. You know, you got to win. You got to win the battle up front. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of it's just kind of kind of football one hundred and one stuff. Man, it is you know, we, we we think sometimes the game has all these big things to it, but a lot of times it just comes back to, hey, can you block them? Can you tackle them? You know, can you protect the football? So, you know, we, we, we can't have bonehead mistakes and we got to execute the things that we do. Coach, is this your team's uh, senior night? Yes. Yeah. It's senior, it's senior night. It's homecoming. We, we got a, yeah, we, we got a really busy week. Um, you know, we, we had so many home games early on in the season that uh, they didn't want to put homecoming right at the start of the school year that, you know, we really been on the, we were, we were on the road for a month straight. So, um, homecoming just kind of fell on this week, so we got senior night, we got homecoming. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty pretty busy week here for us. What can you say about this uh, senior class and what they've meant to this program? Yeah, um, you know, really good senior class. Uh, as far as just you know, there's all you know, the, all the kids mean a lot. Uh, but you know, the, the, you get. You get so many different stories, I think, because you know you could. I could talk about so many of them. You got kids that have been three-year starters. You know, you got kids that uh, we got a couple seniors. This is their first year ever playing. You know, you got 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 some seniors that probably don't want to play as much as they, or probably aren't playing as much as they'd like to play. But you know, they show up every day and work hard um, and and have a role. You know, I, I'm a big believer in 
uh, any organization for that organization to be successful, everybody has to play their part, and not everybody's part is going to be, you know, whatever the the superstar on a team or the the you know CEO of the company or the president. You know, everybody's going to have kind of their role, and you know, we have a lot of seniors on this year's team that really embrace their role. Some of them are, you know, some of them are, might be our best athlete. Some of them might be our vocal leader. Some of them just might be kids at practice that come in every day and make. Us better that you don't see see in the stat sheet. So you know, re- really happy of the senior class. Uh, you know, they they've they've had a really good career. You know, a lot of them. You know, most of them played last year that were on our our playoff uh, run that we had last year. And you know, most of them this year are on this team that you know is trying to make another playoff run now. So uh, just you know, a lot of good kids and and you know stuff that stuff that kind of goes unnoticed sometimes is, is, you know, the things that, the things that they do, you know, we, we have 17, you know, we have 17 seniors on this year's team and not a single one of those 17 seniors, the first nine weeks had a D or an F on their report card. So, you know, that's the stuff that we don't talk about enough. It's just the, you know, the people and the young men that they are. All right, coach, our uh, fun question this week yeah. is who is your favorite athlete? Oh man! Um, oh, you guys, you caught me off guard. Um, oh, gee whiz, I I don't I don't know if I have an answer to that. Man, you caught me off guard. I'm not a huge like I, I'm, I'm I don't really like watch a lot um, or have like favorite teams. I just kind of watch for the heck of it. Uh, I mean, uh, an obvious answer in professional sports would be Trayvon Wesco, right? I mean, that's got to be that's got to be the obvious. Like every week, I, I go in and I check his stats and I check, you know, things that Trayvon does. So I guess that would have to be, I guess that would have to be an obvious answer. Oh man, I I don't know if I got another one for you guys. I mean, there's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys that I like and a lot of guys that 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 I think you know, are good role models for the sport. I like Trevor Lawrence. You know, I'm, I'm a big Trevor Lawrence fan. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Joe Burrow fan. I like Joe Burrow a lot. Um, you know, as far as, like, watching play, I'm, 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 I like Lamar Jackson just because the explosiveness that he brings uh, to the table. So, you know, th- those are three guys that I guess kind of stand out to me um, as far as guys that are that are quarterbacks in the league and, and play in the league. Man, that's a hard question. I don't know if I – geez, I don't know if I have – I have an answer to that. Yeah, Baseball I wasn't sure wise. if you were going to go growing up or current. I, I know we uh, weren't really yeah, specific. I went, yeah, I went current. Growing up, man. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Growing up. That's oh, so hard. It's so hard. It's such a loaded question. Um, I'd have to think. You know what? We're going to hang up, and I'm going to think about something. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's obviously this guy. You just put me on the spot. So stinking quick. I mean, I like Brett Favre growing up. Um you know, I don't know, man. That's all. That's such a. I'm going to think of all. When we hang up, I'm going to think about all of these names. I like Vince Carter in basketball growing up. That's such a hard question, man. You guys, look at you guys. I like Clayton Kershaw. Ah, oh, man. That's a. That's a. That's a. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. Well, if you think of anybody else, I guess you'll just have to text us, and we'll say it on the show. Peyton Manning, I like Peyton Manning. Always a good guy. I always like watching him. Man, that's just a that's a that's that's a tough one. Yep, that's a tough one. Appreciate the time, Coach Thomas, yeah. as always, and good luck this Friday. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate all you guys do. Appreciate all you guys do.